Yes, uh, kuna mambo mengi yamekuwa yakitokea mtandaoni kumuhusu naibu wa rais William Samoei Ruto na haswa wale ambao wanaompinga wakisema kwamba kidogo huyu ni mwizi ambaye hastahili kupatiwa kiti hiki cha urais na vile vile kuhimiza wa Kenya wengine pengine kutoka maeneo mbalimbali mbali, wasiweze kumpigia kura naibu wa rais kutokana kwamba uh, ama kwa, kwa tuma kwamba yeye ni mwizi. Uh, najua pia umekuwa kijiuliza nimekuwa nikijiuliza mbona mbona naibu rais William Samoei Ruto uh, huwa anaitwa mwizi mbona watu wengi huwa wanamtaja kwamba yeye ni mwizi na hapo jana pale bungeni Fatuma Gedi ambaye ni women representative uh, wa wajia aliweza kusema kwamba anaenda kutebo evidence uh, of the land grabbing incidences ambazo zinamkumba naibu rais lakini leo hii tumeweza uh, ku uh, ku research bisa na kupata a certain video ambayo uh, uh, ilichukuliwa ka, karibu miaka nane iliyopita inao mtaja naibu wa rais kwamba alikuwa ameki amekiiba ama amekipoka kipande cha ardhi uh, ama amelipoka ame, ame shamba lile la jamaa ambaye alikuwa anaitwa mteshi na hii ilikuwa miaka nane iliyopita acha nicheze acha nicheze hii video uh, ili tuweze uh, ili hata uweze kufanya your analysis the three year legal battle over a 100 acre parcel of land in Wasingishu county pitting post election violence victim Adrian Gilbert Muteshi against deputy president William Ruto is finally over with Ruto losing the ownership of the land which has subsequently reverted back to Muteshi high court judge lady justice Rosa Ugo who has been arbitrating the case has also ordered Ruto to pay Muteshi a sum of 5 million shillings for trespass The court held that there were fraudulent activities in the subdivision and transfer of the land. Ndio hiyo sasa. There were a lot of uh, fraudulent activities ambazo zilikuwa zina revolve around the 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 issues of the title deed. Uh, lakini unajua kwamba anaibu rais mwenyewe alijitetea akisema kwamba alinunua kipande hicho cha ardhi lakini siku ya kuamuliwa kwa kesi hakufika pale kotini jambo ambalo vile vile uh, ningetaka wewe mwenyewe ujiulize mbona maana yake yeye anasema kwamba alisema kwamba uh, alinunua kipande kile cha ardhi lakini wakati wa kuamuru kesi ile uh, ama kuamua kesi ile mbona hakufika pale kotini hmm? na uh, ku, kutokana na mazungumzo yake uh, justice rose alisema kwamba kidogo uh, from the subdivision level there was a, a lot of rodent activities mbili ochukulia kwamba uh, naibu rais William Samoei Ruto akaweza uh, kukipoka kipande kile cha ardhi mm-hmm. that muteshi had proved beyond reasonable doubt that he was the rightful owner the court dismissed Ruto's claims that he had purchased the land saying he had failed to show up in court to back his evidence The court however declined to have Muteshi compensated for the losses he incurred by not using his farm arguing that he had not adduced evidence specifying the nature and extent of the losses thus giving the court a hard time to evaluate the loss No hi Ilikuwa ni miaka mitano uh, aliponyanganywa shamba lake lakini uh, wakati aliweza kuomba pengine aweze kufidiwa yaweze kupata fidia manake 5 years kama hujatumia shamba lako uh, ukipiga hesabu kama mwanadamu ikiwa pengine alikuwa anapanda uh, tuseme mahindi kwa miaka mwaka mmoja ange, angepata gunia kadha wa kadha kwa zile hekari mia uh, moja kwa hivyo kwa miaka mitano hizo ni pesa nyingi zaidi lakini hakukuwa compensated in as much as shamba ile iliweza kum, uh, kumrudia na vile vile naibu wa rais uh, hakuweza kudhibitisha kwamba ilikuwa uh, shamba uh, lake Muteshi who fled the Kapsogoi farm in 2008 at the height of the post election violence is glad that the matter has finally been resolved but feels that the court should have awarded him more. The court also absolved Dorothy Tor from any blame after it ruled that she was not involved in the fraud. I'm grateful that the matter has come. Ndio sasa uh, nataka tusikize 
ayo mazungumzo yake we mzee it is making a lot of sense you know eh, imechukua miaka mitano kabla apewe uh, shamba lake ama ilichukua ilimchukua miaka mitano kupewa shamba lake meaning in the five years period hakuwa analitumia shamba lake hmm? na kupiga hesabu ye mwenyewe akisema kwamba kupanda mahindi ingempatia inge, inge pesa kiasi ama kiwango kikubwa zaidi lakini hakuwa na ule uwezo wa kutumia shamba lile ili kupata pesa zile na ingawaje alikuwa anataka kwamba kidogo aweze aweze kufidiwa haikuwezekana manake koti ilishindwa uh, kujua ni dhamani ya pesa ngapi pengine ili aweze kupewa figures if you count the number of bags you get by year times five years ruto the attorney general and the ndo hayo sasa kwa hivyo wewe mwenyewe ni kama mimi tu nimekuwa nikijiuliza mbona William Samuel Ruto pengine mm, huwa anatajwa kama mwizi. Uh, kuna kesi nyingi zaidi ambazo zimekumba watu wengi lakini sijui mbona tunaangazia William Samuel Ruto ndio aliweza kushikwa na makosa uh, wakati fulani miaka miaka nane iliyopita uh, kwamba kidogo alikuwa amechukua shamba la mteshi bila uh, hidhini yake pengine hakununua haku kishamba hicho ama shamba hilo. Kwa wewe kama mkenya ndio wewe mwenyewe uweze kujiuliza maswali pale uasinigishu kapsogoi uh, farm pale mwenye hili shamba alikuwa ni mkalenji hata sijui kama ni mkalenji lakini kama alikuwa pale uasinigishu ina maana kwamba he was a kalenjin. lakini ikawa kwamba naibu wa rais William Samoei Ruto ameweza kuchukua shamba lile huyu ni mtu wa kwao huyu ni mkalenji ni mwenzake sijui ingekuwa ni mtu mwingine ama ni kwingine angefanyaje uh, na huyu jamaa huyu huyu ndiye tu anawania pia uh, kiti cha urais na vile vile anaomba wa Kenya tumeona akifungua biblia kila uchao akisema kwamba pengine mikono tutuweki serikali kwenye mikono ya Mungu <laughs> sijui we mwenyewe ndio utakadiria ujue kwamba utampa kura yako ama hautampa kila mtu akona yako yake hata mpinzani wako kwake vile vile ukifuatia Raila vile vile hakuna makosa yako yake lakini hili uh, kidogo liweza kuniishika nikaamua tu tuliangazie kama aliweza kuchukua pande uh, kile cha ardhi uh, uh, hekari moja itakuwaje tena